Now to the COVID pandemic. Some doctors who got Johnson and Johnson's COVID vaccine say that they are already getting boosters of Pfizer and Moderna, even though it's not officially recommended right now. And they say it's all because of the more contagious Delta variant. We went to the experts so they could explain some of the reasoning behind these decisions. Our sources for this information are Dr. Angela Rasmussen, a virologist at Georgetown University, Dr. Carla Robinson, family physician with Charlotte's Urban House Call Health Group, and a Public Health England study on vaccine effectiveness against Delta in the UK. Dr. Rasmussen recently took to Twitter to say she initially got Johnson & Johnson, but later followed it up with a Pfizer shot. She says, quote, we know that two dose regimens of mRNA or AstraZeneca are highly protective against the Delta variant, but a single dose is not. Public Health England released a study last month illustrating this. It shows two doses of Pfizer protected against symptomatic COVID 88% of the time. Two doses of AstraZeneca protected 60% of the time, and a single dose of either cut effectiveness to 33%. Robinson says the assumption there is Johnson & Johnson is a viral vector vaccine, just like AstraZeneca. But people are only getting a single shot of J&J. &J. The assumption is that it very likely will pan out here in this country um, that the Johnson & Johnson may have decreased effectiveness against the Delta variant in which case a booster may be necessary. We just don't know at this time. It's important to note, doctors say all this is still preliminary and there is no official guidance about getting boosters in this scenario. Whether you've received the Johnson & Johnson, whether you've received two doses of the Pfizer or Moderna, my recommendations are the same to still practice all of those measures that we were practicing prior to being vaccinated. To practice social distancing, to practice hand hygiene, uh, to mask um, when you're in crowded places and Robinson also tells us the data still shows regardless of vaccine brand, if you are a breakthrough case, your symptoms are likely going to be reduced and you'll still be highly protected against severe and deadly outcomes.